Hello everyone, from my own research I have found there are a few letters that we very often mispronounce. Which are those letters? And how many letters are there? Is it easy for us to understand and reproduce in the same way as it is supposed to be? These are the questions that I'm going to answer with today's video. As I've already told you, we have seven letters in English language that we Malayalis, especially we Malayalis, have mother tongue influence or we make mistakes. Which are those seven letters? I've already told you those are T, D, R, L, V, W, Q. These are the seven letters. Once more, letter T, letter D, they are close companions. And then R and L, they are another friends. And then V and W, they are another pair. And Q. What's the mistake? Comparing to Malayalam language, which letter is having this influence? And how can we overcome? Let's begin with T. Letter T is supposed to be T sound. T, T, Taru. T, T, T. T, T, Telephone. So T is the letter, T is the sound, and telephone is the sound. T, T, Potato. T, T, Tomato. See the difference. We say, we say it tomato or potato, right? But at the same time, we need to understand that, for example, a sentence like, I want to go to, there we use T sound. On other side, I want to climb a tree. See the difference? I want to climb a tree. Two, T, three, ta. We know how to pronounce it well, but the influence of ta letter is always overcoming when you speak in English. So from today, at this very moment, after you hearing me, never I should hear from your side a ta from English language speaking. It's always t, t. When you say t, you can get the air here. T, t. When you say ta, the air goes da out. That's like plosive sound. Puttitarikana sound on it, ta. But this one is soft. T, t. It comes from your throat. The sound for English, most of the English sounds, the sound comes from your throat. It has to be very soft as possible. So, t, t. Ta, no. T, ta, ta. Telephone. Um, tomato. Tattoo, potato, so many words. The next second letter is da in Malayalam, but, but it's d in English. D, d, doctor. D, d, doctor. One more. D, d, doctor. So it's d sound. There is no letter that represents d in Malayalam. But we have da, like s da, we have da, and then we have round da. Either we use all these or we use ta, some situations in English, but it's only d. You need to understand there is no da sound in English, it's always d. Dynamo, doctor, driver, d, r, driver, denim, denim. Denisy, Daniel, Domestic, Prudential, so, so many words which starts or ends with D should be D sound. It's also the air goes down, D, D. You can feel the air here, D, D. Now you got some spits, like avoid again, D, T, D, T. T, T. Both of these together, doctor, 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 doctor. 
pretty easy. And today, D and T should be very clear from your tongue. So both are, you can check yourself whether you're doing it right or not by keeping your hands here. If you're saying da or ta, the air goes straight and you'll get it here. So you say it's wrong, go down, te, 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 doctor, doctor. All the best. Second pair of letters are R and L. In spite of R, we have a letter from Malayalam that is R or Ra. We say it's Rat, R for Rat, in spite of R for Rat. R is the letter, R is the sound, Rat is the, the word. Rat, rainbow, rhinoceros, respond. Responsibility, protest, protest, practice, 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 craft, 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 craft. So R is always R. There is no Ra, no Ra. It's Marayura Ra. R. Not Maya, it's Mara. <laughs> And we're going to move on to the next letter, that is L. L sound is not la, is not la. But what is it? No sound in Malayalam. But in Arabic, you can say, when you say, well, Allah lin, that la, Allahu, that la. But you have to show your t tongue outside, la. I love you lollipop lollipop lemon lovely lowly lovely see the difference we say it lowly it's actually lovely so r and l are together both are very soft r and l l r Lam, lamb, lemon, lollipop, lovely, crystal, crystal, clear. So these letters have to be very soft. L sound and R sound have to be Ra sound. These two together, there are so many words. Now you can practice, look at the book. When you read, you can clear each and every sound. These four sounds we finished. Now, next pair, W and V. We have in Malayalam, we have only one letter, that is WA. One more, WA. One more, WA. We have only one letter. We say it's like water, van. See the lips, water, van, random round around. This is how we usually say, not all of us, but a few of us. Water, van. It is actually water. Remember you're kissing someone. Water, you kiss your lips rounded, right? Water, when you say van, you have to go like, bite your lips, van, 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 travel, travel. You have to make this like, get this buzzing sound. There you will have a buzzing sound and your teeth, upper teeth will like slightly touch your lower lips and make this buzzing sound. V, 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 wa. W, 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 water. V, V, vein. W, W, watermelon. V, V, Volkswagen. See the difference? But we've been using only W for these both letters. How can we overcome? Practice. This is from my experience. I took it more than three months 
while I was working in Ethiopia in Africa, one of my kids, one of my children from the uh, class four, she came to me personally. She said, Abdul Sharif, sir, when you say water, your lips are rounded. When you say van, your lips are rounded. How can I understand your pronouncing your, so your sound is for V and W? I was totally shocked and I went to my friend, Mr. Matthew. I asked him what's the difference between these two and our YouTube. I found it, the difference, but it took more than three months to clear it because it has been a habit. From Malayalam language, I'm using wa and then I connected it with and for more than 15 years, I've been using same way. Suddenly, changing is not easy. So when you practice, you may mistaken again and again. No worries. Practice it again. You can do it. W and V. A last but not least. What is the opposite word for king? Queen, right? Is that queen or queen? I got confused. We used to say queen, right? What is it exactly? What does sound Q? Is it like Q, Q, Q or Q, Qua, Queen? A second one, of course. It's not Q, it's Queen. Question, quarter, quench, quality, quantity. Everything is Qua. The sound of duck. Qua, 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 Qua. Quality, quench, question, questionnaire. And why it is Q? Because we've learned, we've practiced from the school. The teacher will come and write on the board letter Q, Q. It became our practice. Letter Q, Q. It's actually letter Q, sound qua, queen. We forgot to do that. Seven letters, ladies and gentlemen. My dear students, everyone, seven letters only. You can find magical moves, magical changes in your English language. When you speak, you have to be confident. To be confident, you have to pronounce it really well. You have to speak, sound like a native. If you do that, you can talk to anyone without any mistake. You're not worried about making mistakes when you have, uh, when you pronounce the words correctly. Let's go back on again. First word is T, no ta. Second letter, first letter is T, no ta. Second letter is D, no da. Third letter is R, not R. Fourth letter is L, not L. Fifth letter is V, not W. Sixth letter is W. Yes, it's W. And seventh letter is not Q, it's QUA. Know the sound. Practice it really well. This is a basic step. If you get this, go back to diphthong, monophthong, phonetics. It's easy for you. But being a Malayali, I am sure you might have made a mistake with these letters and you're still making mistake on these letters if you correct this 70 60 to 70 percentage of your language your tongue will get your own and one magical thing that you need to understand from this this tip is you cannot mispronounce it one uh, one sound and correctly pronounce another sound on the same word for example Draft, D sound and R sound. We mispronounce D as DA and R as RA. So draft is easy. That's Manglish, draft. Fine. And in English, in the correct way, D and R, draft. Correct. English, draft. And now can we mix it? First, DA, then R. The raft is not easy. The raft. We cannot say this. Or we can uh, do the um, do the other way. Uh, de and ra. De raft. 
not easy. So, if you could correct one, one letter, the, the other letter will get better. That is the magic move of English language. Let's practice once again. At home, take your time. Any questions, concerns, comments, welcome to Travel Teachers YouTube page always. And thank you so much for watching. Good day, everyone.